Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. So today's video is about the constant gaps and very expensive tools like Ahrefs have these functionality and features where you basically insert your website and uh, look at your competition and see what the overlap is and what the opportunities are as far as content. And I thought that um, this would be a beautiful occasion to show you how you can do that semi-free with the ChatGPT subscription and the plugins. So we'll be using different plugins and the first one is going to be the web palette, which is currently my number one. Uh, my close second is Vox Scripts, by the way, and we will try and run a very simple prompt. My site is saferzog.com. My two main competitors are High Peak Pets and Dog Care Life. Perform gaps analysis in markdown table format and suggest opportunities for future blog posts. So basically, you have your own website, you have the websites of your two main competitors, and you want to know what their strengths are and where can you benefit. So hopefully it will enable the web pilot. Okay, good. So far, so good. Okay, hopefully it's read the first website. Okay, this is the second one. And what it's actually doing is it's scanning the structure of the website, at least I hope so. And the output is as follows, a very neat table. Based on the content extracted from the, from the three websites, here is a gaps analysis in a markdown table format. So the save for dog, a main strength is focused on what dogs can eat. Uh, limited to food and health topics, less focus on dog behavior and training, which is true. And the opportunities lie in expanding into dog behavior and training topics. Provide more in-depth health-related articles. And the same goes for the other two. And based on the gaps analysis, here are some opportunities for future blog posts. Understanding your dog's behavior, a comprehensive guide. What can dog eat a vet's guide? Choosing the right vet clinic to your dog. Dog health 101. And this is true, like all of these topics uh, could have actually benefited the uh, website when I was in charge. And this is the first use case. And basically you can, uh, instead of using the website URLs, uh, you can insert the sitemaps if you can find them. And that would hopefully return even more detailed, more robust results. So this is use case number one. And for the second use case, we'll be using the Vox scripts because we want to do the same gaps analysis, but for the YouTube. And here I'm <laughs> comparing my channel to the giants of the industry, which is the Matt Wolf and All About AI, very big channels. And the prompt is basically the same. I'm just substituting the web website for the YouTube channel and the articles for future videos. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I modified the prompt slightly. I'm the owner of the Words of Scale. My two main competitors, <laughs> I wish, <laughs> were Metwolf and All About AI. Perform gaps analysis in markdown table format and suggest opportunities for future videos for Words of Scale. Okay. Strength, high quality content, good engagement with the audience, consistent posting schedule. Weaknesses, lower number of subscribers, this is true. Less diversity in content topics, this is also true. Diversify content to cover more AI-related topics. Collaborate with other AI influencers. Increase audience engagement through Q&A sessions or live streams. <laughs> and surprisingly, like these are all the things that I've been thinking about. Like the collaboration is coming up very soon. Hopefully tomorrow, but fingers crossed. Q&As, this is something that I've been uh, thinking about a long time. And I'm actually surprised there are so little, so few collaborations in the AI niche. I wonder why. If you have an idea, just uh, drop me a comment. Okay. Based on this analysis, here are some opportunities for future videos for the scale. AI tutorials, AI news updates. I don't do news enough. 
interviews with the AI ex experts. I don't have any interviews. Interactive content. Considering hosting AI related challenges. I don't have any challenges. <laughs> case studies. I do have some case studies, but the other suggestions are quite good. Cool. Back to articles and blog writing. And let's pick the pilot once again. So with the, these gaps technique, we can go as granular as to the level of articles. So the prompt is mod modified uh, to my article is this one here. Proven tips on how to increase pit bull strength and muscle. And my two main competitors are this one here with train a pit bull for weight pulling and bark exercise, pit bull exercise to build muscle perform. Gaps analysis in a markdown table format and suggest opportunities for future blog posts. So now we are looking not at the level of the website, but at the level of a concrete article. Based on the content of the three articles, here is a gap analysis. Okay. So my website, and this is not my website, I've just chosen it randomly, but just let's pretend this is my website, Emotional Pet Support. Strength details, say by step by step guide on how to build muscle in pit bulls. Weaknesses, lacks variety in exercise types, no mention of potential risks or precautions, and this is bad. Opportunities could include more diverse exercises and training techniques, could add information on potential risks and precautions. Okay. Based on this analysis, here are some opportunities for future blog posts. Safety, precautions when training pit bulls, detailed guides for diverse pit bull exercises. <laughs> well, I wouldn't use this title here, but the role of diet in pit bull muscle building, the importance of rest and recovery, case studies of successful pit bull training. Okay, so this sums up the today's video. I've just showed you how to perform the gaps analysis for your website as a whole, then for your YouTube channel and back to the article. Hope this was helpful, like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.